After slogging through a full VO2 max test at the University of South Australia, I sat down with Dr. Max Nelson, who oversaw the testing procedure, to get some insight into what VO2 max is, why it's important, and how it changes over time. In this short video, part of a longer interview, I asked about the deterioration of VO2 max with age. Is it inevitable? Why does it happen? Let's hear what Dr. Nelson has to say. Does VO2 necessarily deteriorate with age and why does it deteriorate with age? So why does this have to happen, yeah, Max? Why does it have to happen? I'm asking myself the same question at the moment, AB. Uh, there's a few reasons why it happened. There are a number of physiological processes which do diminish with age. So, for example, one of them that people are, I guess, commonly aware of is like your heart rate. So they say that every year your maximal heart rate and that's pretty important for being able to pump blood as quick as you can around the body when you're exercising they say that if you're someone who's not doing any training to change the effect every year you age your maximal heart rate will drop by about one beat yep. and that therefore means that over 20 years your max heart rate might come down by 20 beats and that's 20 less beats per minute you can squeeze your heart to get the blood around your body to the muscles and deliver all the fuel and oxygen that we need now, that's just one of a number of things that do deteriorate a little bit, but I guess going back to your previous question around changes with age and where if you start, does that help you still achieve the same point if you start a little bit later? When you do exercise and you expose your body to the stimulus that exercise gives and training gives, you can actually like diminish that loss that you see in things like your heart rate quite a bit. If you're someone who when you're 20, your maximal heart rate might be 180, and then 30 years later, it's dropped to 150, you know, one beat per 30 years. Compared to any, if you compare that to someone who was 180 when they were 20, but they've trained really, really hard for those 30 years, their maximal heart rate might've only dropped to 170. Yeah. So by uh, exposing to the stimulus of exercise, you can diminish that loss you get with age. But there's a number of things, unfortunately, we are, time is uh, undefeated, as they say. Uh, so with the with the VO2 max changes, is it is it because of lung volume or is it because you're just metabolically less efficient? Is it to do with the you know, mitochondria in the in the muscle? What what are the sort of determinants that, that drag the VO2 down? It can potentially be a little bit of all of those. So there are some really important determinants in how quickly you can move blood around from a cardiovascular perspective. Uh, sometimes the changes you might see in that could be like we talked about with your maximal heart rate, but also could be because you get changes as you age in the function of your arteries, your veins, uh, so the plumbing effectively. Plumbing. So as we get older, you know, your arteries become... We're not, we're not going to talk about plumbing problems too much. No. But when you become a bit older, your arteries become a bit stiffer, which means effectively they work less efficiently, and yeah. that means that that can diminish things. You'll see some changes at the muscular level with mitochondria, which also can do it. And it does vary the changes that cause the effect from one person to the next. Yep. Uh, but there's a whole range of things that can contribute to that. 